Coming up today on another edition of the Seahawks Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle, we'll recap two home games for UNCW. The weekend set against the Hofstra Pride. Highlights analysis straight ahead. We'll have a player profile on Mike Okaru playing really well for UNCW. We'll introduce you to him coming up today. We'll also have our Logan Holmes Play of the Week, Carolina Four Dealers Player of the Week, and we'll look ahead not just two games on the road for UNCW at Elon, but also a makeup game with James Madison coming up as well at home. All that today on this edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Welcome once again, everybody. Mike McCarroll here alongside the coach, Takeo Siddle, talking Seahawk basketball here. And we're talking about a weekend set against the Hofstra Pride. The preseason number one team came into town over the weekend in Trask Coliseum. The Seahawks and the Pride, two really good games, coach, when you look at it. But heading into this game, your concerns, your thoughts on them, a team that you know is going to play 2-3 zone defense. What concerns did you have getting ready for the Pride? Yeah, defensively, Mike, uh, our concerns were uh, obviously Jalen Ray and you know, the play of their guards, you know, they always have really good guards and he's playing at a high level right now. So we wanted to make sure we keyed in on him and then Conte on the inside is always a problem. Um, you know, he presented some physicality and some scoring down low. So uh, we knew we had to lock in on those guys on the defensive end and then on the offensive end for us attacking their two, three zone, you know, it was, uh, they're really good at it. They fly around, they pack it in tight, they force you to take some threes. And uh, we wanted to attack the middle and play inside out. And I thought our guys did a really good job of executing our offensive game plan. Offensively, even defensively, you go into the series as well, knowing that you're not going to have Jalen Sims. How did that change things for you and, and the rotation and what you were trying to do with your players? Well, it, it limited us a little bit more than what we already are. Um, you know, our rotation was a little bit shorter. Guys had to play more minutes. Um, especially from the guard position. So uh, we knew we had to try to do some things to make some adjustments to get some guys a little bit more rest. Um, and like I told you before, Mike, it's one of those things where I told the guys, hey, you're just going to have to shoulder the load. You know, you may have to play 40 minutes. And uh, they understood that, and I thought they did a good job. I thought we competed at a high level. Yeah, really, you know, grinded it out all weekend long here against the Hofstra Pride. Here in this game, you had the lead, you know, late in the game. It just seemed like maybe the, the legs finally caught up to you guys, unfortunately, at the end. Yeah, I thought fatigue hit us uh, in a major way, and uh, we made some uncharacteristic turnovers, and it led to runouts. And on, de on the defensive end, we didn't guard as well. We fouled too much. Uh, I thought fatigue played a factor for sure. But overall, when you look at this team against that 2-3 zone defense, the assists were up, and I thought you found that the soft spots of that zone pretty regularly in, in both games. Yeah, we're getting better in that area. Um, that's one area that we wanted to focus in on after our Christmas break. And uh, our guys have made a conservative effort to get better, taking care of the basketball, sharing the basketball a little bit more. Uh, I thought we did a really good job attacking the middle and attacking the uh, short corner in the zone. And we got some good looks. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't fall down enough for us. Well, still another exciting game inside Trask Coliseum for UNCW as they hosted the Hofstra Pride on Saturday. Let's take a look now at our Harris Teeter highlights. Left wing Bridget inside the zone to Okaru. The jump shot from left baseline is good. Benito Okaru gets a screen for Fox. Drives left corner to Harvey. Harvey three on the way. High arcing shot is good. Drives it in, kicks it out to Bridget. Five on the shot clock, left corner. Ganson open for the three, and it's all in. What they need to shoot the drive. Right side, the elbow now to Bridget. Bags it away. Gonna make a move. Spins again through two defenders and able to go glass and score. A couple of nice spin moves for Bridget. At the Inside the zone, Bridget. Nine on the shot clock for UNCW. Bridget will drive in, and the layup is good as he takes Silverio all the way to the bucket. Seahawks really have no one to match up with Conte. Uh, down low, they've got a nice soft spot going to high low. Caro to Bowen, who puts one to high. Five on the shot clock. Off to Okaru. Three right wing is good for Michael Okaru. And the couple Seahawks there not getting his second three drive. Rocks is going to take their hand with pass. Scooped up and set by Bridget. Number three, Seahawks. It's four on one step through. Thought about a three. Cannot get it off instead of Pritchett. 
drives right past Conte in the reverse lane. It's good. So he's got a step on Conte. Sideline, Harvey to yes in the left corner. Three is good. The Seahawks tie the game at 43. So the left corner to Bridget. Left of the paint to Ocaro. And the shot good from 10 feet. Mike Ocaro. Excuse me, Bridget rather. Bridget backing down against Conte. Reverse layup is good. McKinney just spins past Conte's defense. 15 now. Conte's in the second half. Down low. Bowen with the answer as he dunks it through. Gaskin on the nice feed from him. Great game. Inside the yard. The jumper is no good for Bridget. Boy, Bowen tips it to himself and banks it in. A new career height with 12 points for Conte. Well, UNCW comes up short, 82-73 the final score here in this game. UNCW, uh, again, without Jalen Sims, guys logging a lot of minutes. Mike Okaru and uh, Joe Pridgen, 40 minutes each. And, and Coach, you know, where were some of the minutes, where were some of the points going to go to? John Bowen got some of those. He had a career day with 12 points, and I thought he gave you a nice lift coming off the bench. Yeah, we needed that, and we need to continue to get production off our bench. You know, John came in with great energy. Uh, he did what I asked him to do, just play hard. And, uh, you know, he got some layups around the rim. He got some offensive rebound stick backs. He took some charges, did everything that I needed him to do coming off the bench. Mike Ocaro again, 21 points, playing at a high level right now. He is, you know, and he, and he earns it. You know, he gets in the gym on his own. Um, you know, he's a guy that's, that's watching film all the time, trying to get better. Uh, and he plays so dang hard, you know, he deserves to play well for sure. And we mentioned the assists in this game, 17 assists leading to 30 main baskets. Really good number there and a season low tying five turnovers. So assist and turnovers, something like you said you were concerned about around Christmas time. Some good numbers now for both of those. It is and, and if we can continue to get better at some things that we're not so good at, um, you know, on a daily and weekly basis, you know, I think we'll be playing really good basketball by March. All right, so again, another tough setback at home for UNCW. That was a Saturday game against the Hofstra Pride. We'll take a break here. When we get back, we'll talk about the Sunday game, another thriller inside Trash Coliseum. Stay with us. Back with that next. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer. Forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Now get a well-equipped 2020 F-150 with up to 10,531 in total savings. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Produce at the peak of freshness. That's what you'll find at Harris Teeter's Farmer's Market. At this moment, we're gathering the best produce from across America and bringing it to you. We're inspecting for freshness in the fields, on the trucks, and in our stores. Harris Teeter. What are you waiting for? We do fresh the best. coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Well, after the Saturday game, what did these teams have left? And coach, you look at the, the start for both these teams, a lot of offense. First half scoring 49 for Hofstra, 41 for UNCW. We didn't see that the week before 
on the Sunday game, but a lot of offense Sunday afternoon. Yeah, we got going after a rough start. Um, you know, the guys came together and played with more energy, and I thought our defense created a lot of offense for us, and we played loose. Uh, we hit the sweet spots of the zone and got some, some really good looks, and guys stepped up and knocked them down. I thought one adjustment you made, we talked about it uh, post game. Five of seven for the free throw line on Saturday, but you attacked that zone. You got to the free throw line more often because it's been such a big part of your offense. Yeah, we drove the zone. You know, we drove the gaps. We used our ball fakes and shot fakes to get, you know, open gaps to get in the, in the middle of the zone off the dribble. And uh, we played along the baseline a little bit. Our guys were really aggressive attacking the backboard. And, you know, we wanted to focus in on that to get some more points in a different way. Down 17 halfway through the first half. I mean, what was your mindset at that point with your kids playing so hard, playing so many minutes? Obviously, you came back and, and were right back in this game and, t and took the lead, but it lo looked bleak at one point in the first half. It did, and if you ever watch Hofstra, they have games where they come out and they're just, you know, full of energy and they get out to a, a big, long start. And, uh, you know, I thought they did that. Um, I brought them in the huddle, uh, gave them some tough love. They came out with a little bit more fight and we closed the gap. I just didn't like how we finished the half off, but uh, you know, give a lot of credit to our guys for closing that gap. Yeah, down 17 at one point, down eight at halftime. The Seahawks certainly right there in the thick of things in the second half, thanks to a big performance from Mike Okaru once again for UNCW. Let's take a look now from Sunday afternoon in Trash Coliseum. Here's our Rage Jewelers highlights. The Hops for Pride. Right corner box, steps back, three on the way is good. Just got that right toe behind the arc. It looks far sideline, gets a baseline. Boggs drives a baseline. Reverse layup is good. Boggs with all five Seahawk points. Now to Okaru. Push ahead to Boggs in transition. And the two-handed jam for Jake Boggs. The confidence in his shot. 32-15 driving. Okaru banks it in. In the zone, Okaru kicks it out to Harvey. Harvey three in the corner is on it. Sideline. Right baseline to Bridget, touch pass to Okaru, who lays it up and in. Lock Hansen bounces it to Bridget, inside Okaru. Okaru attacks, Okaru will score and get fouled by Conte as well. Shot there, passed it up, gives to Boggs. Three on the way for Boggs is on it. He's not going to pass up the no. shot. The same. Back to Bridget in the corner, three on the way is good. For Joe Bridget, just his seventh three of the season. To Ganson, Ganson will drive. Ganson hangs the shot, no good. O'Carroll with a put back. Out to Ganston inside the zone to O'Carroll the back door and reverse layup for Bridget. Nice feed again. This time Okaru to beat Conte the inside position. Oh, blocking the dunk attempt was Bowen. Bridget comes up with it for UNCW. Behind the back pass, Harvey three on the way is on it. Remember that sequence. Senior, 63-60, now turnover, no, getting it back. Okaru banks it in for the right side. Don Okaru, Harvey's open near sideline, he'll let it fly for three, and it's good. Once again for Jamari Harvey, sideline box. Out front, Gaston inside to Okaru, drives down, banks it in, and gets fouled by Green. Right, box. Off to Gatson, he'll drive in, scoops it up with the left hand, connects and ties the game at 72. After leads by three. Okaru driving it on Moshes, all the way to the basket, back shot good for the prime. Gaston drives near sideline, Boggs beat set three in the left corner, connects a big three there for Jake Boggs. Eight, nine on the shot clock for UNCW, Pridgen on the far sideline. Pridgen drives, spin, shot up and through for Joe Pridgen. Well, again, UNCW comes up just short, 89-83, the final score against the Hofstra Pride. But, Coach, again, no quit in this team, and certainly from somebody like Mike Okaru, 30 points, shooting 12 of 26. He played 40 minutes on Saturday, 38 minutes in this game. Again, he kind of embodies right now this team and the fight that you guys have. He does, and as a group, we're fighting. You know, um, we know we're limited with our numbers, but they're fighting, and they're playing extremely hard. And Mike is at the head of it. He's setting a tone on the defensive end. And on the offensive end, he's setting the table for everybody else. And, you know, his shots are falling. He's getting it in a lot of different ways in transition. He's getting to the rim, finishing, getting to the free throw line, and he's making his threes. So he's doing a really good job right now. Jake Boggs making threes in this game. Struggled on Saturday, but you stick with him. He comes back 21 points in this game. He had your first 10 points. Uh, of the ball game here and uh, nice to see him hit from long range where he's four for five from three. Yeah, and I thought, you know, my, my uh, message to him going into the game and into every game, it's just 
play with energy on the defensive end and play with some fight on the defensive end and things will start to open up for you. Um, you know, he did that. He got a block to start off and sprinted the floor, got a three off and made it. Uh, and then, you know, he played well throughout the game. Yeah, so Jake Boggs, a good performance there for UNCW. Again, 21 points for Boggs. Seahawks come up short, 89-83, your final score. We'll take a break here. We've been talking a lot about Mike Okaru. We'll introduce you to him coming up next, our player profile on the senior from Raleigh. Stay with us. More to come. It's the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Edging on the grass here, edge the grass nice hip. Ice cold bud light, bud light, seltzer hip. Got a white breast and nut hatch hip. Quality. That's what you'll find at the Harris Teeter Butcher's Market. The best quality meats. From our tender verified beef, fresh chicken, and delicious pork, to kebabs and gourmet burgers. Perfect for your favorite recipes or special occasion. The Butcher's at Harris Teeter. Ready, knowledgeable, and happy to serve you. And that's something you won't find everywhere. Crispy, juicy, ham breaded chicken. Crispy, juicy, ham breaded chicken. Crispy, juicy, fiery sauce. Crispy, juicy, fiery sauce. Ham breaded chicken tenders with new fiery sauce at Hardee's. Feed your happy. You can't know someone has COVID 19 just by looking at them. But you should know that everyone who wears a mask has a reason to fight it. Whatever your reason, get behind the mask. Welcome back, everybody, as we have a chance to introduce you to one of the players on this team, a senior member, Mike Okaru, who is really playing at a high level right now. UNCW's top scorer in conference play, averaging uh, over 18 points a game. And, and Coach, again, we've talked so much about him the last couple of weeks. I mean, he's doing so much for this team. Um, and a lot is on his shoulders, and, but he's producing right now. He is, and, and Mike is uh, one of those guys where, you know, I don't have to run anything for him. You know, he, he gets, uh, you know, his points in so many different ways, you know, whether that's getting steals and, um, you know, getting layups, getting to the free throw line, making mid-range jumpers. He gets it in so many different ways. Outside of him scoring the basketball, you know, he's probably our best defender right now. Um, you know, leading, leading our defense, picking the ball up 94 feet. He's rebounding at a high level. He's sharing it at a high level. He is coming into his own right now, and he's going to be a really special player for us. And he's kind of a, a quiet personality, but you need him to be a leader on this team. Again, in the absence of Shaikeem Phillips, who was your starting point guard, and you know, out with the injury, and now Jalen Sims, who was your leading scorer, out with an injury as well. Mike has to be that guy, I would think. He does, and you know, he's not comfortable in that role right now, you know, as being a vocal leader. And that's something, you know, during the games and stuff, when we have pauses and breaks, I try to talk to him, hey, as a leader, you have to do this, you have to do that. So I'm teaching him, and he's receptive to it. Um, by the time we're done with him, he'll be a really good leader. Yeah, he's glad to be here as well. Started his career at Florida, transferred here, and, and really shining bright here this season, his senior season. Mike Okaru, here is our player profile now on Okaru. I don't have a middle name. You know, a lot of <laughs> my teammates always ask me, like, they think I'm joking, but I, I really don't have a middle name. Just Mike Michael Okaru. My family's Nigerian, so it's a Nigerian name. For one, I wanted to be close to their home, you know, where my family could come watch me. And then for two, I, I just wanted the opportunity to really showcase my skill. I mean, at Florida, you know, I had opportunities here and there, but it wasn't as much as I have here. So um, I'm just, you know, I, I just felt UNCW was the right place for me. So I, was, I was happy because uh, I kind of knew Coach Siddle before, like when they were first here, they were recruiting me at a high school. So I kind of had like a, a relationship with him. So as soon as he got the job, I saw he got the job, reached out to me and I met with him at NC State and you know, we just kept uh, building our bond there. When the season started, 
or like even in the summer when we figured out who was going to be on the team, like I sent a text to the whole team, like tell, telling them that like we won't have a losing year this year. Even though we're seven and eight at this at this moment, very moment right now, I still believe we could still you know win the CAA and, and make it to the NCAA tournament. So um, it's definitely a chip on my shoulder, on my team's shoulder. We know what we can do, and we know what we have to do to to get to that point. My mindset was just being aggressive this whole year. Uh, just I feel last year, like I always said, I, I'm I'm able to do whatever the coach needs me to do, whether that's rebounding, scoring, or passing the ball to my teammates, or playing defense. So I just feel I just wanted to really focus on all those aspects and help my team in any way. You know, my guys, they you know they look to me for guidance, and they look for me to to um, you know turn it up a notch every time we're out there on the court. So I feel coming into the year, I was a leader of the team of the team, and. You know, I just, you know, try to do my best every day, you know, working with my guys. You know, I, I could say Jamari as a freshman, uh, just like what the things he does on the court, like I, I like I like what he does on the court and just if he sees me like not doing what I'm supposed to do, like he, he's able to come up to me and tell me. And I respect that about him that he's a freshman and he's doing that and I'm a senior. So just, you know, things like that. We have we have guys who hold each other accountable and I think that's a big you know, part of our team. Even though we can't have everyone gathered, we found new ways to make each occasion special. We're keeping your gifting experience both safe and personal through Reads.com, answering all your questions and guiding you to the perfect present, just like we have for over 70 years. Family always finds a way to celebrate life's moments together, no matter what. You won't just shop with confidence at Reads Jewelers and Reads.com. You'll feel like family. In the truck game, greatness is defined by a relentless commitment to the customer, forged over decades, built by a team resolute in helping you achieve your greatness. Experience this award-winning lineup today. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 44 years straight and counting. Now get a well-equipped 2020 F-150 with up to 10,531 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Along the coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Bring you back now for the Logan Holmes Play of the Week. We rewind to Sunday afternoon. UNCW against Hofstra. Defense leading to offense for UNCW. It's our Logan Holmes Play of the Week. Back to Silverio. They feed Conte the inside position. Oh, blocking the dunk attempt was bowling. Bridging comes up with it for UNCW. Behind the back pass, Harvey's three on the way. Once again, our Logan Holmes play of the week. And coach, you like to see that the defense leading to the offense and pressure was on the freshman Harvey when you had all that sequence. He had to make that three and he did. Yeah, that's what we want to be about, Mike. You know, um, having great effort on the defensive end and that leading to some offense for us. And, you know, the guys like we talked about it before, you know, Joe could have came down and jacked up a shot or forced something. But, you know, he recognized his teammate trailing. He was wide open and he made a great behind the back pass and he's, he's better be glad that that game threw like it like it did and uh, Jamari stepped up and knocked down a big three. Yeah, nice three in rhythm there. So our Logan Holmes play of the week, pretty special play throughout the course of that game on Sunday. 
Pretty special play for Mike O'Carro. He is our Carolina Ford Dealers Player of the Week once again. Coach, uh, I mean, we mention him almost every week. Once again, the, the, what he is doing right now, but you look at the numbers this week, 25 and a half points in the two games, including that 30-point performance, a career best on Sunday. Uh, five and a half rebounds, six and a half assists, uh, made all 10 of his free throws and averaged 39 minutes a game as well. So you would think going Saturday to Sunday, the performance would drop off. It does not for him. Yeah, you know, he's, he's built for it. I have to do a better job in practice of trying to get him more rest, especially getting our numbers back a little bit to where we'll have 10 people in practice. I'll throw Craig in there a little bit, try to get Mike some rest. That's the most impressive thing to me is uh, his 39 minutes per game and, you know, producing at the level that he's producing. So I have to do a better job of getting him more rest in practice. And, um, you know, he'll be ready on game night. Yeah, certainly a gamer here all season long, but uh, no more than right now. Playing really well. Honorable mention, all CAA, uh, the weekly honors for Okaru as well. And this week for us, he is the Carolina Ford Dealers Player of the Week senior guard, Mike Okaru. We'll step aside here when we get back. We'll preview uh, what's ahead for UNCW as they hit the road once again in conference play and then play a rescheduled game as well. So we'll have uh, those three games. We'll preview those coming up next. Stay with us. It's the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Okay. Well, She's the one, and you know it. At Reeds.com, we're making it easy to find the perfect ring from home. With helpful advice from our online jewelry experts, safe and discreet shipping, and beautiful ring packaging, you'll be confident the moment will be as perfect for her as she is for you. As a trusted jeweler for over 70 years, Reed's Jewelers will be here to make both of you feel like family. Long after she says yes. Good job, cool, Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip, bay windows, got two. Nice tuck pointing hip, retractable awning here, like it. Got the nice edging on the grass here, edge the grass nice hip. Ice cool, Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip, got a white breasted nut hatch hip. Join us at Hardee's for the new fiery famous star. Feed your happy. You can't know someone has COVID-19 just by looking at them. But you should know that everyone who wears a mask has a reason to fight it. Whatever your reason, get behind the mask. Well, we'll bring you back and take a look at the uh, updated standings now. In the conference, still Northeastern on top of the standings, but currently on pause still for them. Charleston uh, coming off a pause themselves. The Seahawks and Elon toward the bottom of the standings, but again, still early on and uh, makes this a very big weekend series coming up for UNCW on the road. As we take a look at our schedule delivered by Papa John's and uh, coach two games back to back on the road, but not going too far to, to Elon. Came off pause last week to the Phoenix. Uh, 0-2 for them. So they've had some struggles, but like you, they, they've had some gaps in their scheduling. They had a 27-day layoff like you had as well. But your thoughts going up against them on the road Saturday and Sunday? It'll be a challenge like every game is in this league. Um, you know, when league play comes around, um, you know, I know the pauses come into effect. But, you know, people play at a high level. Um, everything is, is a little more magnified. You know, um, these games are important. And you know, we go down there and take care of business. You know, obviously we take it one game at a time. We can be right back in the race. Same goes for them. Um, so they're important for us. We want to make sure we focus in on ourselves and tighten up the things that we need to work on. And, um, you know, we'll focus on them later on in the week and get ready to go down there and compete. Yeah, it'll be the uh, first home conference games for Elon coming up this weekend, Saturday and Sundays. And then that rescheduled game with James Madison Tuesday, next Tuesday at home at 4 o'clock as well. So you're going to have you know three games coming up here in uh, Madison when you look at them. Obviously, they're ahead, so you're not maybe looking just yet at them, but Matt Lewis, preseason player of the year, he's probably somebody that 
top of your scouting report as you look at them? Yeah, we'll have to get ready for them after we uh, play Elon. Very quickly, uh, Matt Lewis is playing at a high level. Um, you know, I'm excited for our guys to be able to make that game up, you know, add another home game to our schedule. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. So again, UNCW on the road Saturday and Sunday at Elon. They come back in that rescheduled game against James Madison. That will be Tuesday. And once again, we'll have all those games for you. 95.9 The Breeze on the road, 95.9 The Breeze and Flow Sports at home as well. So a busy time coming up for UNCW. Coach, best of luck. Thank you, Mike. He's Takeo Siddle. I'm Mike Vicarol. Thanks for joining us here today. It's another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle.